hello 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 this is Frida welcome to my channel for this tutorial I am going to be you showing you a very simple stitch and you're gonna love it okay uh, I found this well it's it's a popular stitch it's called the V stitch and uh, uh, these are the yarns that I have bought I believe last year when I went crazy buying yarn, you guys saw my uh, yarn unboxing, right? 2021, 21, 22. I think I only bought a couple. Like twice. <laughs> Two times. So um, this is the yarn that I bought from Dollarama. And there were like $4, I believe, Canadian. I live in Canada. So... Uh, and it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool and four dollars. I thought they were great, so I grabbed whatever I had. I saw there's a total of five, uh, two, four, five. The fifth one is here, and uh, I think this color is different. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix it between, and um, I'm going to be making a scarf for the homeless. So, what you need to do is I believe you need to, um, uh, I think multiple of four because uh, we we, uh, we do the stitch every fourth stitch so let me see I'm going to I'm using my um, prime crochet hook which is a number seven come on focus focusing on the background so this is a number seven but I might try the eight because on the back it says recommended crochet hook is a 6.5 which you need you can use a 6.5 but i am a tight crochet so uh you know what i'm gonna go with the eight uh, you need to grab a bigger crochet hook so the recommending crochet hooks is a uh, eight so i believe the seven is won't do the work so i want it nice and you know squishy so i, I will go with the eight so number eight and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chain as wide as I want and we will work with those chain um, usually a number uh, four inch wide scarf is a uh, okay but if it's wider that's way better right because then I do have enough yarn here so I'm just going to crochet as loose as I can just like this and then I might go to the seven. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So I uh, and it really, I would recommend what size hook you feel comfortable with. Yeah, let's word it that way. Or else sometimes you know it's it's tough to say use this crochet hook, use that crochet hook. So I have crocheted about this wide, and this is pretty good. I don't know the number, but if I want to count, it would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. Let's make this 25. 24, 25. Okay. So uh, I'm going to start right away and I, I'm going to make a double crochet. So this three chain would be considered as one double crochet. So on the fourth, we're going to make a double crochet just like this. Yeah, it's going to be tough. I'm going to chain two between. So we're making these. And between there's going to be um, let me move these aside because it's focusing on the yarn and let's move this throw that in the trash <laughs> I'm sure everyone has their trash next to them right it's the thing that we at we do it's like okay and then on that same same uh, chain I'm going to make. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with this crochet hook. Let me go with a number seven and see, you know, if it's, yeah, I think this is better. Okay. I bought these crochet hooks from Michaels. I don't know if they still have them. 
So I grabbed every size they had when they came out. Okay, I'm going to skip one, two, three. On the fourth, I'm going to make it do two double crochets. Just like this. Okay, you can feel how uh, squishy it is. And then on that same, so two double crochets, two chain, two double crochet. I am going to make a card again. And I th thought using this stitch, I might make a chain. So I thought, why not make a scarf? Because it gives you this nice look, see? This V. So I made two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. And then I'm going to be jumping again on the fourth. So I skip one, two, three chain. And on the fourth, I make my double crochet. This is very simple. So I'm going to put this on my uh, beginner friendly playlist. It's so easy. And look, I just love, love how it looks like, right? And then make my second double crochet. Just like this. Two chain and then again on that same double crochet two more okay again skip three one two three on the fourth that is pretty loose on the fourth just looking actually here's a chain one two three here's the fourth make another V two double crochet my yarn is stuck here sorry about that let me just grab this here it is it's stuck between and it's making a terrible noise okay again come right in here Two chain so we make four double crochets in that same chain and there's two chain between again we skip three on the fourth we make our two double crochet and this is how it looks like see it gives you this uh, cluster look and it's so mindless like you can work with this watching a movie if your hubby is driving or your friend is driving you can sit next and then chat especially for long drives i love to take my uh, knitting or my crocheting with me long drives especially if you're going for a long drive it, it's so nice to work with when you look around so again skip three on the fourth make my two double crochet so this 25 chain is perfect for a scarf you can make baby blankets with this uh, stitch you can make oh it's endless mindless anything sweaters cardigans anything you can make some with this stitch okay so we finished this row so we're going to start the next row and this is how it looks like it's reversible the two sides are same we're going to chain three so every time when we start a new row we chain three just want to point out the second row is way easy than the first row so we, remember we had to count three chains skip three chain on the fourth but here we don't do anything we just see what we do so on that two chain we make our two double crochet two chain two double crochet see how it is easy it is and then when we finished the first cluster what we do the, the first V I call it a cluster it's a V and then what we do is we jump to the next V that we see where the two chain is we automatically do our two double crochet two chain two double crochet this stitch is so easy and it's mindless you don't have to think about anything you don't have to count anything what you do is what you see what you see is what you do <laughs> you can make oh throwovers blankets oh it's, it's endless 
and you just continue crocheting. See how easy it is? I haven't been using these crochet hooks for a while. I usually use my tulips and um, yeah, so it was a little bit different what, what I was uh, using before. And tulips, uh, the largest size goes up to 6.5, unfortunately. Can you see? Yeah, this is the biggest. I bought this separately. They, it, I don't have this in my set. So 6.5 is, um, is the biggest crochet hook for the tulip. And after that, that's why I, I invested on these ones. Because they're light. They're super light. And uh, they're nice to work with if you when you get the hang of it. So two double crochet, two chain, two double crochet. That's all you do on each chain that you see. Okay, and then jump right here. Especially if you're new to crocheting, I would highly recommend you to crochet the stitch. You can make dishcloth for beginners. That's how I learned. Started with dishcloth. <laughs> And then again, jump right here where that two chain is. Nothing else. Right there. Two double crochet. Two chain. Two double crochet. Okay, every time we turn, we go to the next row, we chain three. So don't forget that, that three gives that height for the double crochet and automatically we do two double crochet two chain two double crochet that's all we do this is going to be a short tutorial i just wanted to share you the stitch because i'm planning to make a card again i'm going to be designing so stay tuned for that as soon as i finish the one that i'm working on and uh, we'll go from there so stay tuned for that and uh two double crochet two chain that's all we do it's so easy i i might go fast you can go to settings when i'm crocheting this is the slowest i can do i'm sorry i've been crocheting since i was 10 so uh it's really hard me for me to go to slow so you need to go to settings and then uh, change the pace that you need. I get that question a lot. Can you do a tutorial slowly? Uh, you just need to go to settings and slow that video. That's all you need to do. The pace that you need. I'm just doing double crochets. I'm not doing anything different. Or else I would say, or I would, I don't, I don't, I would slow it down. But I'm just doing double crochets. So two double crochets, two chain, two double crochet right into that spot. Okay. See how it looks? Nice and squishy. Oh, this would be nice. So this is going to go to the homeless. I am planning to make 25 plus scarves and hats for the homeless homeless this year last year i believe i don't know how i uh, made 30 i usually write it down two three go turn your work and then go jump in that where that two chain is right there The group that I am in on Facebook, it's called Chase and Chill, Edmonton, of course. I think every city, every province, every state has it in America as well. So uh, they're reliable people. They go and uh, they donate. They give them to the homeless, who people who needs them. They wrap them around city of Edmonton. <laughs> Fences holes everywhere they can see okay so this is all to it it's so easy and it's so simple again it's so mindless i'm repeating over and over but i just love it see how fast i'm going well this is how you learn right and then you just 
crochet. See how fast this goes? Oh, I will finish this in no time. And I will I put them in big boxes and I um and they come and pick it up. Lots of volunteers. Sometimes I did drop it the first year, but uh because of the COVID I I haven't been going out. It's just terrible. Thank God I'm not putting weights, though. That's a big thing. I was so scared that I was going to be turning into a ball. <laughs> well, yeah, if you look after what you're eating, try to do my exercise, do walking. Uh, but other than that, yeah. And I heard that Shanghai has been shut down again. People are sick and tired of this COVID. They're crying. It's not easy. Yeah. So I hope you guys take care, right? Be, be cautious. So we don't do anything here. So don't get, uh, that's why I wanted to point out. When you when you finish this, don't come and make any stitches here. Or else what, what will happen is you will do an increase and your scarf will go this way. And we don't want that, right? So as soon as you work on the last uh, two double crochets on that chain, you chain three. To go up and then automatically come here don't do anything so uh, if you do some works here what will happen is your scarf will go this way and that i did lots when i was uh learning oh you know you're making a let's say you're making a throw over and then what happens is you look at your throw over your blanket and it goes this way Oh, yeah, I had to rip it and start all over. I was trying to figure why that was happening because because of the extra stitches that you create. So just be cautious when you work on the edge. Don't. Uh, don't make any don't make any extra stitches that will make it increase. If you're working on the sleeve, that's another thing. But uh, especially if you're trying, you're working on scarves or you know blankets like straight lines. So just be cautious. And uh, I hope uh, these tips, these informations, these techniques that I'm showing extra on my tutorials are helpful. Uh, I get lots of comments. I get lots of feedback from everywhere. From my, <laughs> I get messages through my. I have several uh, emails I get received. Rece well, it's a good thing, uh, but so sometimes I miss it. This Facebook thing, uh, they put put it into under scam, and uh, I never see it until you know I search because I know there's a message. They're saying that I have a message, but I can't see it. Then I search and search, and I dig in, and I see a message. I don't know, a couple of months ago that was sent. So I do apologize. Sometimes I can't reply because I can't see it, but. Uh, other than that, you can comment under this video so I can reply to you. I try to reply as soon as uh, I see them when I have the time. Well, I'm a mother, a wife, and it's, it's not easy, right? I'm not sitting here 24-7. <laughs> yeah, so uh, try to reply under this video so I can... Uh, Try to comment under this video so I can reply to you. There, let's point it that way. Okay, so uh, I think this is all I'm going to say. Uh, other than that, if I remember anything else, I will uh, give that in info. One, two, three to go up on my other videos. Um, yeah. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And don't be shy to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified. And come and follow me on my Instagram page. And I love, love making videos on TikTok with music videos. <laughs> Especially those filters. I'm in love. I don't have to make any makeup. <laughs> it does it for me. Like light makeup, those lashes. Oh, because I have, I think I have allergies. And uh, every time I put something on my eyes, even a lotion, you know, on my face, I get start to get itchy. 
for some reason i don't know so i love i love love making videos so uh come and visit me um come and follow me on my instagram page it's so fun and uh fun to watch especially if you're uh knitting or crocheting it's it's with the music right it, it be it's a nice beat and i get so excited and i crochet faster than this believe me knit or crochet faster yeah uh when i get excited i'm like a whoa i go f i finish it <laughs> so uh yeah come and follow me on my tiktok on my um instagram page it's angora underscore bolero for instagram and for tiktok it is just angora bolero well if you write my name my frida ferida Bashar, you will see all when you search for me you will see all of my links well i already put all of my links under this video so go three to go up and then uh, you can see tiktok i don't think i added it yet because it's new to me uh well it's been i've been on it for a couple of months now but um yeah i still i think i have about 66 followers already even it's new to me i'm learning something every day with tiktok just love the music background you know when you're making a video okay so i'm going to let you guys go because uh, i'm talking 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 and I just love how this is going so nice and smooth. I'm almost finished the ball. So I don't think this is going to be a long one. Yeah, Dollarama doesn't sell these yarns anymore. I don't know. They had the special, I guess. So I'm happy that I grabbed whatever I saw. I tried to pick all the colors. Uh, and uh, yeah, wish I bought more. But, you know, last year was my crazy on, uh, yarn buying. I went overboard okay so let me just put this and show it to you so far what i did oh it's, it's tangled it's pretty wide see the 25 chain that i have made so it's it's pretty wide and i just love it it gives you that nice look you can't even see that it's a v-stitch because of the variegated yarn but uh i just love how it looks like so i think i have yellow but I have so many yellow and uh, gray colors. I will use that. I'm trying to find the uh, male colors. You know, for the, they're usually men out there. But there's ladies out there too. Yeah. Nice. Really nice. Really nice and enjoy to work with. So I hope you like this tutorial. Take care, everybody. Have fun. Happy crocheting.